Oh goodness. Well, hey there guys, we drove in last night to the Rocky Mountain National Park. We are gonna be here for the next seven days or so and we've got some amazing hikes and other things lined up to share with you guys. And today we're gonna to start out with a short hike around Sprague Lake and then we're gonna head up to Trail Ridge Road. And Trail Ridge Road has got some amazing alpine views that we can't wait to see again ourselves and to share with you guys also. For now, let's go. Let's go. I'm glad that Sprague Lake hike was only three quarters of a mile Me too. because it was freezing out there, it wasn't was. it? It was so cold. The wind is just blowing like crazy, which seems to be a common theme in our travels <laughs> it lately. Does. Uh, it the does. wind chills in the teens, and it was just cold. Yeah, it was a good call to wear our coats and, and gloves this morning. <laughs> Absolutely, very good call. I'm glad to be back in the camper van Me now too. for a bit. But it is a beautiful hike. It's a short yeah. hike, easy. And so if you're looking for a short hike with a big payoff in the National Park, this is a good one. Absolutely. You're going to love that. But now we are headed up Trail Ridge Road to see what kind of spectacular views we can find. Stopped at Milner Pass for a picnic lunch. 
And the view outside of our camper van is not too bad. This is, we believe, pronounced Powder Lake. Paula, what are we going to have for lunch today? We are going to have chili dogs. Chili dogs. <laughs> That's a nice, healthy yes. lunch. Yes. We hey. may have some grapes to go with it. Right. The <laughs> grapes counteract anything that might be bad in right. the chili and the hot dog. Right. We don't eat like this all the time. We do try to eat a lot of salads and eat healthy, but we also like to enjoy some good food. And if you're going to have a view like this, this is way more worthy of a chili dog than a salad. <laughs> get my door open. Oh, it is so cold and so <laughs> windy. It is like, it is 50 to 60 mile an hour winds, like sustained. And, and then, then some gusts. Gusts <laughs> gust have got to be like oh. 70 miles an hour. It literally <laughs> takes your breath away when it, those gusts come That's after. crazy. Well, after doing battle with that wind all day, we are worn out. And we got a car back up so we can go the distance again tomorrow. So we have stopped by Antonio's Real New York Pizza in Estes Park. We can't wait to show you what we were getting. And we can't wait to sink our teeth into it. <laughs> For our appetizer, we ordered garlic knots. They're handmade dough, lots of garlic, and secret ingredients. We also got a side of marinara and a side of ranch to dip them in. Do the honors, Paula. Okay, I'm picking the biggest one, one with the marinara. Oh, really good and doughy. Really good. So it's got a nice crunch on the outside super doughy on the inside. The garlic, you can taste it, but it's not overwhelming. Like you're not gonna keep any vampires away with the garlic. So our server told us that this is one of the most popular pizzas that they have here. It's called the Godfather. It's all about Italian specialties. It's got prosciutto, it's got salami, it's got provolone, it's got roasted red peppers and garlic and all kinds of stuff. I can't even remember all of it, but it is like, what Marlon Brando would order if he was here, like the Godfather. <laughs> so we're gonna try to eat it. Hope we don't get whacked in the process. <laughs> your eyes seem to be getting big. They are. You better hope your stomach is just I as know. big because that's a big pizza. We we're gonna get the small, but he talked us into this one. Lot. What's the verdict? It's pretty good. There's a lot of stuff on this. It's a lot <laughs> I don't of know stuff. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it blended together nicely. It's spicy. It is quite spicy. Yes. <laughs> Spicier than I was expecting. So the Godfather lived up to the hype. The crust, the meat, all of it was really, really good. Probably was a little spicier than what we normally ordered. And we have plenty left for tomorrow. We had an amazing first day at Rocky Mountain National Park. We got to see some beautiful sights. We did a few short hikes, but we did have to fight the wind quite a bit. Yeah, we did. We may have not 
gone the full 15 rounds with the champ, but he did not knock us out today, right? <laughs> we're just glad we're still standing. Right. Uh, we got another day ahead of us tomorrow, right? Speaking of tomorrow, we're gonna kind of call today done because tomorrow we have an epic hike ahead of us and we need to get some rest tonight. Uh, we're gonna record a separate episode for that day hike that we have planned for tomorrow. So the next time you see us on this episode, that hike will already be completed. So for now, we're gonna press pause on this and we'll see you soon. Well, we're back and we had quite the adventure yesterday, Boy, didn't did we? we ever. It was amazing. It was hard. It was beautiful. It, it was, was fun. It was adventurous. <laughs> it was. I, I mean, we had a couple of unexpected adventures yesterday uh, that we can't wait to show you guys. That'll be coming up in a separate episode uh, up next after this one. Uh, so you want to stick around for that. Right now, we're kind of uh, in a holding pattern. We're in rain delay uh -huh. as a storm comes through. We're hoping to get another short hike in today. We're not exactly sure. We'll have to just kind of play it by ear. We've been catching up a little bit on some, some work and some rest after yesterday's right. long, long day. Right. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. As soon as we have something more to show, you'll be the first to see it. Well, we didn't get to do the hike yesterday because of the rain, so we're out early this morning to check it out. We are at Lily Lake. There are two trails here we're going to take you guys on. The first is the Lily Lake Trail, which is 0.9 miles, mm -hmm. and it meanders along the shore. And then there is the Lily Ridge Trail, which is 1.1 miles, which is up along a ridge, and you get a look down on the lake. So we're going to take you on both of those. Up first is the Lily Lake Trail. Let's go. Let's go. From Lily Lake, you get a really good view of Mount Meeker on the left up there, illuminated by the sunlight right now. And on the right is Long's Peak. It is the highest point in Rocky Mountain National Park, and it is the only 14er in the park. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Holy smokes, there's a huge moose right there. I did not even see him. I did not even see him. Wow. That's pretty cool. Guys, that was amazing. Wow. <laughs> a little scary, pretty exciting to see a moose. It's the first time we've ever seen a moose in Rocky Mountain National Park. And he, he was hidden behind this uh, clump of uh, bushes. Bush, yeah. Uh, and we didn't even know he was there. And all of a sudden he just walked out, <laughs> about scared us half to death. 
And then, uh, what, I mean, just what, what a treat. We're kind of blown away. Don't right. really know what to say. There are a few other people out here too. We're all just amazed to be able to see him. It's kind of funny, like, People don't get all wound up watching us eat breakfast, but <laughs> some, <laughs> moose, that's a different some, story. somehow watching a moose eat breakfast is really, yeah. really cool. <laughs> Good to get out early in the morning. You get to see a lot of wildlife. Yeah. We saw the elk also. Um, that kind so of made our trip. It did. It was worth getting up early for. Right. Pretty neat. Wow. We have had a great time the last few days here in Rocky Mountain National Park. We have seen some beautiful mountains and lakes and wildlife. It has been amazing. It has been. And while all of it's been amazing, for me, the highlight was the moose sighting. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. It just uh, was so unexpected. It was. Right? Not only did we not expect to see the moose out there, period, we certainly weren't expecting him at that time to just come out of the brush. <laughs> right. And there he was. Walked we heard, right in front of us. Yeah. We heard a little rustling. And I thought, what is that? And looked over there, and there was this moose coming on down the trail from us. And so that was really, really cool. We've been to Rocky Mountains, I don't know how many times over the years, and have never seen a moose up not. here. And so that was really, really that exciting. Was fun. Um, so it has been an amazing time. In our next episode, we're going to show you guys the day hike that we did a couple of days ago, and that was a tremendous adventure. Wow. We can't wait to share that with <laughs> you. Uh, but for this episode, that's it for our mission. What's your mission? This is one of the top three scenic hikes in America. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, it's blowing so hard out there. Not only can I not hear myself talk, I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> I, I'm thinking thoughts in my mind to say, what did you say? I can't hear you. Well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun field adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. One of the ways we do this is through a short faith-based thought for the day that I write. They take about a minute to read each day, they're free, and they're available at finishlinefaith.com or facebook.com forward slash finishlinefaith. I hope you'll take a look.